my yogis, I'm Miss Victoria. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be doing a gratitude practice. So to ground ourselves down, I want us to come back to our Hoberman Sphere breath, where we are really thinking about expanding our entire body and then allowing ourselves to let go in a nice, calm pace. So if you'd like, you can close your eyes and you can just imagine the sphere in your mind or you can take your gaze right to the sphere in front of you. As we start to bring our focus into this space, we'll start to match our breathing to the movement of the sphere. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. So as you breathe in, your entire body is expanding. Belly, belly falls. Pass that breath, pass your belly into your rib cage and out of the rib cage and out of the belly into the belly, ribs, and chest. And exhaling chest, ribs, and belly. Let's keep breathing just like this, inhaling full and complete. And exhaling full and complete. Letting it all go, inhale, and exhale. If your eyes aren't closed, maybe do that now and continue with this breathing pattern. Imagining seeing the sphere in your mind, expanding on the inhalation, and letting go on the exhalation. As you continue to breathe, keep filling up, and letting go. Filling up. And letting go. The next time you inhale, allow your arms to sweep up overhead. And then as you exhale, twist your spine towards the right. Inhale, come back towards center. And exhale, twisting towards the left. We'll keep going with this breathing pattern. Inhale, sweep those arms up. And exhale, twist towards the right. Again, inhale, sweeping the arms up. And exhale, down and towards the left. The next time we'll inhale, fill up full. Back to center and then exhale towards the right. And let's stay here for three rounds of breath, feeling your sits bones underneath you. As you inhale, grow a little bit taller in your spine. As you exhale, draw your navel in. Inhale, fill up. Imagine that sphere in your mind. Exhale, letting go, drawing the navel in twisting maybe a little bit more. One more time, inhale. And exhale. We'll come back towards center on our next breath in, reaching up. And now twisting towards the left as you exhale. As you inhale, you think of the look of that sphere in your mind. Keep the body growing tall. Exhale, draw the navel in, twisting maybe a little bit more. Always looking for length as we breathe in. Exhale, strengthening with our low belly. One more breath, just like this. Inhale. And exhale. And then on your next breath in, reaching up and coming back towards center. 
And as we exhale, hands can come down through your heart center, softly blinking your eyes open if they are closed. We're going to move our feet into a new variation where we take the soles of our feet together. This is Baddha Konasana, so bound angle pose. We want to keep our soles of our feet really tight, so really push through your big toes and allow the knees to open up towards the side. If you're uncomfortable like this, you can always prop up underneath your knees, giving yourself a little bit of extra support. Try to sit really tall, and sometimes this can be hard, so you might even need to take your fingers behind you to allow yourself to get the length in your spine that we're looking for. If you feel okay, you can hold on to the ankles in front. As you inhale, find length in your spine. And then as you exhale, start to draw your chest forward, hinging forward off of your sits bones, not rounding the back, keeping the back as flat as you can. And then let's close our eyes and breathe here three times, still imagining that sphere in your mind. Inhale deeply. Long spine, exhale, draw the navel in. Squeeze your glutes a little bit to help open up your thighs a little bit more. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, draw the navel in. One more like this. Inhale, length. And exhale, draw everything in. And now allow yourself to round through your spine just a little bit more. Taking the crown of your head down towards the floor. And if you'd like, you can reach your arms out in front of you. So now your spine's curved here. Three more nice, deep, full Hoberman breaths, just like this. Inhale, big fill of the entire torso. Exhale, slowly draw it out. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, draw it out. One more time. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, draw it out. As you inhale, come all the way back up. Use your hands if you need to. And then let's bring this, uh, our knees together. You can use your hands and come over onto our knees into a child's pose. So now as we reach our arms out in front of us, you can allow your forearms and elbows to drop down towards the floor. Knees can be close together or wide, it doesn't matter. And as you're lying there, I want you to imagine the look of this sphere opening and closing with your breath, but this is happening in your belly in between your legs. So you'll feel the pressure of your body and your torso expand against your legs and your, your thighs and um, feeling your belly press in, and then also feeling your back lift up towards the ceiling. Let's take about three or four rounds of breath here. Nice big full rounds of breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more, just like this. Inhale fully. And exhale fully. Great job. Sliding your hands along the floor. Start to lift your hips up over your knees. You can tuck your toes under. Reaching into this puppy dog pose. Allow your chest to drop down towards the floor. And either taking your chin onto the floor or your forehead, whatever one feels better for you. Draw the navel in, this is a little bit more opening in our shoulders, and we'll take three more breaths like this, nice and open in our heart space, creating space for our Hoberman breath. Inhale, full. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale, then exhale, and then from here continue to move forward, sliding onto your belly, and we'll keep our hands, uh, moving them by our rib cage, drawing the elbows in, and we're just going to do a little baby cobra. So as we inhale, let's hold ourselves up in this baby cobra. And then take your elbows down onto the floor so that we can come into sphinx pose, this is called. 
So you can imagine the Sphinx in Egypt looking very proud. Press the tops of your feet into the floor, heavy through your pubic bone, pull the navel away from the floor, really press down with those forearms so that you're broadening through your chest and your collarbones. If you feel okay, you can close those eyes back down and then we'll come back to that Hoberman breath, filling up deep in our belly. Inhale, full. Exhale, draw the navel in and away from the floor to take any pressure from the low back away. There should be no pain there. This is a really great pose to do, especially if you've been sitting a lot. Helping to open up our chest and get rid of any rounding in our shoulders. One more breath here. Slowly coming back down towards the floor. Use your hands to push you up and back to that child's pose again, just for a moment. Allowing your back to be round, your spine to be curved. And then you can bring yourself forward and onto your back. Preparing for Shavasana. Now you can always stay in your Shavasana longer than I cue you. And the point here is to allow our mind to be calm and relaxed. And if you remember at the beginning of our practice, I said we'd be working on gratitude. So as you find yourself in a space of comfort, as we inhale, I want you to think, I am grateful. And as you exhale, I am thankful. I am grateful. I am thankful. If you'd like to attach words to complete this mantra, you can. Or you can just keep reciting these words in your mind, leaving them open-ended to accept all. Accept yourself. Be grateful for yourself. Be thankful for yourself. Allow your entire body to be calm and relaxed. Let's take three more rounds of breath here. I am grateful on the inhale. I am thankful. I am grateful. I am thankful. One more breath. I am grateful. I am thankful. Feel free to stay longer if you'd like. If you're ready to move on, wiggle those fingers and toes. Give your head a gentle rock side to side. Stretching your arms overhead and your toes and legs away from you. And then bending your knees in towards your chest, giving them a little bit of a hug. And then we'll roll to one side, propping ourselves back up into a nice, comfortable seat. If you like to keep your eyes open, you can. If not, softly blink them closed, taking your hands in front of your heart space, bowing your chin towards your chest. And I want to express my gratitude for all of you taking the time to practice with me online. It takes dedication and discipline. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.